it's been a hectic few days for WWE news. It's been mental, to say the least. So, I'm just trying to keep up with it. I recorded a WWE to Netflix video literally yesterday. That's redundant. I can delete that. That's 10 minutes of my time I will not get back. Instead, let's just add it onto here as we say goodbye to the WWE Network. Hello and welcome to FTTR, I am Hugh McQuaid and today we are talking about the WWE Network and the fact that it will be shutting down at the end of 2024. My god, end of an era that. But before we dive into that, please subscribe, please like this video, please comment your thoughts down below on what you think of the WWE Network and what your memories will be of the WWE Network as we dive into this. I'll try and apply to every single one of them of course. We are here. It was announced the other day that a huge, huge deal with Netflix has been struck. So, big old $5 billion deal for WWE Raw moving to Netflix. That was the main news, sort of in the US. That will be the home of Raw. And it was a bit up in the air for us UK fans and the rest of the world fans as to what will happen for us. Obviously, it's coming off TNT Sports, NXT, and SmackDown will also come off TNT Sports and be on Netflix. But what happens to the library? What happens to that wealth of content on the WWE Network? Well, apparently, we seemingly have the answer to that as it was revealed by Dave Meltzer. Now, obviously, this has not come from Netflix. This has not come from WWE themselves yet. He has claimed that, at least globally, the WWE Network will be shutting down in 2024 leading to Netflix getting the big old library of content on their service. That's mental. That is mental, and I can tell you exactly why that is. Because for me, at least, having just... That's an entire... Like, how long is that? That is a massive amount of content for WWE to process on Netflix. That is a huge amount of just content and video and shows that are going to be transferred across to Netflix and that will be the go-to home for WWE and that's it's not a shame it's only a shame in the fact that the WWE Network for me and I think for a lot of fans maybe not so much in the US because I've not heard good things about that app has been a treasure trove of goodness I think the value for money of $9.99 a month and you get pay-per-views, you get the library, you get originals, you used to get NXT as well. That, to me, is the best streaming service that has ever been put out by anyone. It was rocky to start, but in, in when it got going, that was it. Best streaming service out there, best value for money, and best for that particular market of fans. Now, for that to be transferred across to Netflix is a business de- business decision by either Netflix or WWE, whoever made the call, obviously, is great because you're going to get all these people who maybe just subscribe to all the wrestling services. You subscribe to New Japan World, AW+, WWE Network, TNA+. They're now going to have to go out and get a Netflix subscription, which will boost the numbers for Netflix, which they can only be happy about. They have a huge reason to promote massive stars like John Cena, like The Rock. They can be front and centre now on like Netflix marketing because they are a focal point or will be a focal point in 2025. I just want to see how it looks and how it works because it's su- it's such a large amount of content. Like I get Netflix is broken down into like movies, TV and everything. Is there just going to be a WWE section? Like, how do you manage that? WWE, like, is so much. There's probably so much content on there that equates to the amount of movies they've got. Like, it's an entirely... It's it's basically absolving and absorbing a another streaming service. And it's going to be monumental. It's going to be massive. Now, I think it's only good. I think it is only good, obviously wrestlers will be paid more people will be paid more and pirates will be paid more all that stuff from this deal but i do think this is a good move 
if not bittersweet. I think it's good in the fact that WWE is more accessible now. More people might watch wrestling. Wrestling will grow in popularity still, even though I think we are in like a boom period of wrestling fandom. I think it's great right now. And more fans will be able to watch this stuff and probably get engrossed and become fans. That's only good because while the WWE Network was a fantastic service, you don't go out of your way to get it, if that makes sense. If you're a casual fan, you probably wouldn't go out your way to get a just wrestling-based service. But if the wrestling-based service is in with your Squid Game and your Witcher and your Stranger Things, then it's there. It's there for the picking. It's there for you to enjoy at your leisure. That cross, cross marketing, I guess, cross promotion, is what WWE has been looking for for ages. And getting that brand integration is just fantastic. I'm very, very happy about that. I think it's going to be really, really cool. I just want to talk for a moment about the WWE Network and how it is. It is, you know the best value for money streaming service out there 9.99 is an absolute steal considering you were paying or we were paying like what 30 40 pounds maybe for a pay-per-view and now we get them for 9.99 plus the glory days of nxt black and gold on the network that is like some of my peak wrestling fandom is black and gold nxt with the likes of Champa Gargano watching that week to week that just hit perfectly and I think the documentaries as well the documentaries on the WWE Network were absolutely fantastic I loved them and I hope that with this Netflix deal Netflix is big on their documentaries maybe we'll get more original WWE documentaries on there and maybe we'll get some sort of you know you obviously got the Vince McMahon documentary coming which is in a bit of a weird limbo situation but maybe we'll get more of that. Maybe we'll get more WWE content. Because at least when the WWE Network did this weird change where it's now incredibly not user-friendly, it's very archaic in the way that they've done it since they sort of merged with Peacock. Maybe they can, you know, streamline that a bit more and we'll have a perfect search system. Because that's the other thing. That's the other thing that I want to preface is that the search function on the old WWE Network from like a year ago was outstanding. Like, search functions in general seems like a weird thing to hype about, but I am hyping about the search function on the WWE Network because you could find a random match from like, I don't know, WCW, a random episode of Nitro, and you could find it easily, and then you had, you know, you found the match that you wanted to watch, and then it'd have the rest of the episode there in its chapters. It was it was beautiful. You don't have that anymore, which is a shame. So I really hope they can continue this and really mould the WWE side of Netflix into a fantastic streaming service for wrestling fans because this, this will live and die on how accessible it is and how user-friendly it is. And I am intrigued to see how this goes. What will we be doing? I'll obviously be having to subscribe to netflix we will have to be doing that now because well at least in 2025 when it finally happens because we're not missing out on wwe network it's great value for money and now if anything it's more value for money because i get my witcher and my stranger things and my you know avatar and everything like that so it's actually like i'm actually quite hyped about it i think it's quite cool <laughs> that WWE's going to netflix um, yeah, it's mental, but it's been a bit of a rambly one, a bit of a rambly one here, but yeah, so long WWE Network, you've been the best, best streaming service out there, and it's a shame to see it shut down, many questions going forward, I think this year is going to be so, so interesting in terms of where shows end up, what will happen with TNA, will they get a deal, will AEW get a deal, what will happen as everyone seems to be getting scooped up and getting these deals. It's it's bizarre. It's honestly so bizarre. And we're only in January. God help us. God help us, everyone. But yeah, that's my rambly, rambly thoughts on Netflix merging with WWE and the WWE Network coming to an end. Thank you, WWE Network. Thank you all ever so much for your support. Thank you, 
Let me know your thoughts on the WWE Network down in the comments below, and I'll try and reply to every single one of them. Yeah, let me know your thoughts, and have a nice day. Mm -hmm.